There's a Bob Sculpin top left. Ooh, nice. That is awesome. Uh, Bob Sculpins are related to the blobfish, which was recently voted <laughs> the world's ugliest animal. Um, when they and it totally is. You showed me it. It totally is. <laughs> yes. But no, they're not Rasmanashes. They're crinoids. That's a crinoid. Yes. Oh, yeah. There's a sea cucumber there. Oh, yeah. that is a beautiful Bob Sculpin. Oh, I've always wanted to see one. Look at that face. Look at all, look how many things we're seeing just on like the first few minutes uh, of this dive. Right. Yeah, I think there's, there's actually there's shrimp there too. Two Bob Sculpins. <laughs> oh, wow. And a purple blob to the bottom left. <laughs> they look very sad when they're on the, on the surface. Yeah. Well, I think the most notable thing for me about them is their <laughs> giant mouth, um, but they're what you're seeing them do right now is pretty typical, um, sitting and waiting <laughs> since they're ambush predators. Maybe the octopus, I wonder if the octopus wants the eggs. It's a good nutrient source. <laughs> I don't think we can zoom in that far, Bob. <laughs> we got in pretty close where you could see the individual eggs. They're beautiful. Looks like tapioca. Yeah, little pink pearls. Pink pearls. Bob Sculpin. <laughs> <laughs> well, I would say they're doing pretty well if their survival rate is one percent. <laughs> that's a lot of. That's a lot of eggs. Oh, that's a great no. shot. Look at this. Yeah, could we, um, guys? Could we stop here and get a good look at this coral? With lasers, please. Oh, we got something growing on the coral. Looks like a basket star, brittle yeah. stars maybe? Yeah, there's a couple of brittle stars. brittle stars. We saw those all over the Gulf in uh, when we were doing the eco gig surveys. Lovely. Huh? Ah. Uh. Hmm? Yeah, they've been oh, yeah, the two of them at once. And it often looks like there's one that's larger than the other, um, which could possibly be the female, since they tend to be bigger down here, and the males tend to be smaller. And an interesting thing about the sculpin, always one of them is next to a rock. Very interesting. Yes, when you have this uh, basically kind of uniform flat bottom or uniform bottom, uh, these rocks and these vertical features like a coral colony are uh, the, the safe havens, uh, the, they attract food, uh, they, their protection. So it's very important. I know if people um, who are watching online can see the two um, red dots, we use those two dots to measure the, measure the item that it's, that they're placed on. And they're 10 centimeters apart? Yes. Correct. So it can give us a sense of how big uh, the coral is. Yeah, if you've ever been in a swimming pool and opened your eyes underwater, you know that it's kind of hard to determine okay, how far away your hand is or how far away the bottom of the pool is. And it's the same thing out here. Um, so this gives us a good reference point. 